Cardinals. It's Friday the 27th of March. I'm posting an assignment that deals with the next scene, which is uh, act, scene, oh, sorry, act 3, scene 1. And here it is. It's down here. It's down at the bottom. When you click on it, here it is. Sorry. The page hadn't refreshed yet. There's a few notes on it right at the start. First of all, it says, um, watching the assignment guide video below is highly suggested before tackling this assignment. Uh, I'm making the video right now, so it'll, it'll appear uh, right below here in just a little bit. The assignment's going to ask you to read, listen to, and even watch Act 3, Scene 1 of Romeo and Juliet. It's part of a comprehension thing for an upcoming challenge. So this classwork is necessary for um, the next section, which is really just reading comprehension, listening comprehension, and putting all the pieces together for Act 3, Scene 1 of Romeo and Juliet. It's just the next step in working with Shakespeare's words, starting to absorb them more, comprehend them more, and then prove that you are doing so. It's reading. It's really just reading. It's written in English. The materials you're going to need for this assignment are all in the Romeo and Juliet materials folder. The first one is the text, which is Act 3, Scene 1. You can also uh, combine the text with the audio, which is You'll find it in the Romeo and Juliet folder. It's Act 3, Scene 1, Audio. And then there's film. In fact, the film that we've been watching is broken up into a number of clips. And if you click on this link below, it's also this link is also in the Romeo and Juliet Materials folder. Um, you can watch clip 11, which starts, if you start it at um, 2 minutes and 42 seconds into the video, and watch all the way through clip 14, and um, you just end clip 14 at 5.12. And there are some extras below as well. So once you've done the assignment and you just need to, just a, a quick recap, uh, this silly but useful video recap, if you watch it all the way through 3 minutes and 45 seconds, uh, you might think it's corny at first. There are some funny parts. I don't know why they're funny. They just seem to be funny. Um, but stop it at 3.45. And then uh, the last extra is, it, well, I think you're going to be surprised um, about how good it really is. But it's Act 3, Scene 1, performed as a ballet. There are no words, but you can almost tell where the lines are supposed to be inserted into the music and the dancing. So let's take a look at <coughs> the materials that you need for this. They're in the Romeo and Juliet Folder. They're down at the bottom. Everything gets pushed down to the bottom for new assignments. And here they are. It's one, two, three. It's these, really, these last four. And here's the text. And as always, it's really helpful if you have two windows going or two tabs. Just need to refresh this tab. And here's the audio as well. If you combine these two things, you'll be good to go. So if I start this audio and I said, hey, I need you to read this text, maybe the first two times you read it, you rely on the audio. I'll start it. Hopefully it's loud enough for you to hear in the microphone. It's part of a live performance. There's the text. It's about a 12 minute scene. Of course, there's music and stuff, so you have about 12 minutes or so. Um, and you're being asked to, to read it, listen to it. And I guess the only other step after that 
And of course, not everybody's going to have their packet. Everybody left school in uh, different levels of disarray or organization, but in your packet where you find Act 3, Scene 1, it's not long after Romeo and Juliet um, get married. Act 3, Scene 1, if you can fill in some of these blanks, if you can translate into more modern language um, some of the these words, some of the actions, that's great. It goes on from here. It's this page as well. And just the top of the very next page. Again, if you have your packet, spend some time after you've listened to it and read it once or twice to see what you do know, what you can translate. It'll be helpful to you. When you're done, with the reading and the listening, um, it is highly suggested that you watch the film, which of course is in the folder as well. And if you click on clip 11 and you started at 2.42, you're going to watch it all the way through clip 14. Um, and you'll notice some differences between the text and the film just in the way the director has interpreted the way the scene should go but it's still it's useful it hits on all the high points anyway so that's the assignment it's listening and reading together maybe twice watching clips of the film to kind of almost secure up some of the comprehension that you do have from the scene um, you can watch these extras down below in order to um, just make sure you understand what's going on and and fill in the packet if you've got yours as best as you can. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments in the assignment. Hope you have a good day, have a good weekend, and I'll check in with you on Monday.